I think custom industry segmentation is one of the biggest benefits of Clay when it comes to an account-based marketing perspective or just segmenting your list really well. When you're going into ZoomInfo or Apollo or one of these other tools, they have these big box definitions, out of the box definitions that are very generic of different industries. And oftentimes they're not going to line up to what you want to, want to define as a specific industry. For example, if you sell to um, <clears throat> healthcare companies and you put healthcare as the industry, a lot of ZoomInfo's data is pulling from, being pulled from LinkedIn. And you know, healthcare companies like hospitals may, may list themselves as healthcare, but there's also probably SaaS companies that are selling to healthcare companies and they list their industry as healthcare, not SaaS. And then when you pull that list from Apollo, you're going to get a list of a bunch of random companies that don't actually fit what you want. Or maybe you want to specify within the healthcare space what type of company it is. So you have a healthcare high level uh, industry, but you also want to have a sub industry, right? So let's say you have the healthcare parent industry and you want to uh, sell to, I don't know, hospitals or uh, family doctors, or um, you could say like pharma pharmacies, right? And this is all within healthcare. But if you just put the healthcare filter on in ZoomInfo, you're going to get a mix of all these different types of companies. So Clay is one of the best ways to segment and actually output the right kind of list. And I want to show you how you can do that really easily and very cheap with Clay. And then actually, by the way, lastly, have the output format match your CRM values. Oftentimes, you, companies have a specific industry filter in their CRM, um, uh, sorry, industry field, and it's a drop down select with preset values. But the values are going to output from ZoomInfo aren't going to match your CRM, and it just is a mess. In this case, you can instruct the AI, look at this company, here's all the industries that we sell to, and you know, this is the definition of each one. Here's what this company does. I want you to bucket the, the company into one of the following industries and output this format. And then within the healthcare space, let's say you have a follow-up, if then, if they're a healthcare company, now I want you to decide which of these is the best fit for them. And you can get quite segmented. This helps you with outbound segmentation for account-based marketing if you want to run ads and have different messaging based on this industry or sub-industry. So this is very, very helpful. Now I'm going to go into a clay table and show you inside how this can actually work. Okay, so here is the uh, example instead of a clay table. The first thing we're going to do is just scrape the company with Claygent. I like to use 40 mini. It's super cheap. You can see that these results here are, this is uh, two tenths of a cent. This one was <clears throat> three tenths of a cent. This one was um, eight one hundredth of a cent. So <clears throat> very cheap. And the reason we're doing this first is because you want to have a standardized format. I just told Collagen to scrape the website I gave it and think of what they do and who they sell to, what problem they solve and how they solve the problem. And I'll put a summary of this. And um, you can be more specific with the prompt if you want to, learn specific things about a certain company to better aid the following prompt to categorize the company properly. But most of the time, a generic summary like this is fine. And what's going to happen is it's going to spit out a summary of what the company does. And now you have a really, really nice paragraph of what they do. Now, could you use uh, a LinkedIn company enrichment for this in Clay and then just pull out their company description from LinkedIn? You could, but there's two downsides to that. One, it's going to be an entire Clay credit, which could cost you at least a few pennies for most people. Even on the higher plans, it's going to be like a cent. So you're going to save a lot of money per, per enrichment with uh, Clayagent if you use your own API key with 40 mini. And secondly, not every company has a description uh, on LinkedIn or it doesn't describe what you're looking for. Uh, so this will have a more consistent way to output a, a paragraph of what they do to then feed the next prompt, which I'm going to show you. The only downside to this one is if the company's website sucks and they just have like like sometimes you could look at a website and you just don't know what they do, even yourself by looking at them as a, as a person. So all the more so a an AI won't be able to do it. But that's just a case where you're clipped anyway, because like it's it's really more about their website not being uh, this being horrible and, and not giving you enough context to know what they do. So that's something you can't really get around. But most of the time it's fine. And then this paragraph is a really standardized data set to use as an input for your following prompt, which is the industry classification prompt. So what we do is <clears throat> we just take... Uh, these descriptions here and these industries, and we will create a prompt within Clay where we say, here are your options, right? We want you to classify a company into one of the industries below based on the description of what they do. Here are your options. And we'll give them each option in the description that we, we, we uh, created. And then we say, here's your input, right? And we give it the input from the, pre from the previous um, output, right? From the previous column from Clayagent. And we say, only output the industry name I've given you, right? One of them above exactly as they're spelled above and nothing else. You can also give it the output formats for each industry if you wanted to match it specifically like these for a CRM. We weren't doing that in this case. 
Um, if you don't think the company falls into one of the buckets above, you can do two things. You can tell it to label the industry as you see fit. Um, and that will just be a free text field otherwise. And maybe you filter those out or you can just say label it as other. Um, and then we'll just have an other output, right? And I didn't do the sub industry here, but if you wanted to do sub industry, you would do an if then statement where you say like, you know, if, uh, this industry output is financial services, then here are the sub industries of financial services. And I want you to further categorize it. If it's healthcare, these are the healthcare sub industries, et cetera. And then you can have these really, really good output segmentation. So if we just check out, uh, the outputs here, we can see that these are all financial service providers. These are all banks. Um, it, it works very well and, and you can always refine the prompt to get better and better results. But this is a super cheap way to uh, determine an, a sub industry and score your CRM. So for example, this costs, yeah, 0. 0.00008. So this is one cent, a tenth, a hundredth, eight thousandths of a penny. I think all of these were eight thousandths of a penny. So this is like a, maybe a cent, I think, for all of this. This is maybe less than a cent for all of this. So um, it's incredibly cheap. It's very effective. And I think it's one of the biggest uh, and it's the most powerful w things you can do in clay relative to the time and energy and cost, right? There's obviously cooler things you can do, but just this one little thing I think is super powerful and I want to share it with you. So hopefully you enjoy it and I hope it helps you with your clay workflows.